Uh, in the center of your screen, you should be seeing the uh, E-mini volume chart. And I'm going to show you a very simple but very effective setup that you can use uh, with these volume charts. And that is when we get a pullback near the signal line. I'll show you that here in just a second. All right, so there's the signal line. See, we turn red here on the E-mini at about 28.32 and move down, retrace right up near that signal line. Had to move down. Look at how we retraced up near that signal line, short entry there, and we're moving lower. Now, center of your screen on the bottom, you should see the E-mini 8 wrinkle chart. You can see it has a cell signal. All right, so currently E-mini price action moving lower, NASDAQ moving lower. All right, so everyone in the room right now should be able to tell me if you're trading right now, which way you should be trading, which way you should be trading the E-mini and the NASDAQ. All right, so here at Navitrader, our philosophy is to try to simplify things as much as possible. Uh, I was reading a thing over the weekend. It was talking about how uh, the real genius is in taking the complex and making it simple. And that's what we try to do here at Navitrader, taking the complex and making it simple. And I'm showing you right on the screen uh, right now what I'm talking about. Remember how we said on that uh, signal line is red on the volume chart? Retrace right up to that signal line and look which way we're moving here. All right, so if we want to take profits here, all we have to do is click on buy to close out that short position. Okay, so that's trading lesson here today. Trade in the direction of the volume charts. Wait for a retracement back near the signal line. Gives you a low risk entry point. If you go up through the signal line on the short, you want to be out of that short trade. And more than likely, you'll be going higher and can uh, enter a long trade. All right, so E-mini currently moving lower. All right, so I said before, uh, our job here at Navitrader is to take a complex situation and try to make it as simple as possible. Uh, the way we do that is we've actually built a uh, system right into our charts. All right, so we get a sell signal. We take a short trade. And we can use the automated trailing stops. Here's an example of using the automated trailing stops. All right, so currently uh, market continuing to, well, this is a, this is a, a time-lapse video of a NASDAQ chart where we had a short trade. All right, so here we're coming back up close to the trailing stop. And we came out on the trailing stop. Okay, here's the live charts. Remember what we said, which direction should we be trading? Right now we're at 28, 23.75, 28.23.50. Uh, each point on the E-mini is $50 move. A uh, significant thing has happened here over the last several weeks, too, is the, uh, the micro, the E-mini micro contract. For those people that are trading smaller accounts, uh, I would highly recommend the micro contract to you. There are many benefits of the micro contract. One, uh, you have a lot less leverage, a lot less risk. Okay, so a lot of traders I talk to, they're so nervous uh, about their trades. They're so concerned about how, where they're going to put their stops and how much money they're going to be losing. Uh, they go into a trade, I think, uh, expecting to lose money. Uh, with the micro contracts, you can go into a trade and not have uh, really significant risk in your trade. I mean, there's risk in any trading, obviously, but uh, only one-tenth the leverage, one-tenth the risk. And some advantages I think you'll find with the micro contracts is one is 
uh, a lot less capital required. Also, I think you go into a trade with, with less fear and you'll tend to stay with the trade and uh, more likely let your winners run instead of getting out with maybe a point or two like you're probably doing on the e-minis. All right, so right now we're moving lower. And we know that in any of these moves, you're going to get a little bit of a wave formation in the chart. But right now the e-mini uh, volume chart, I'm showing a 10,000 volume chart. Another thing that's great about our charts, they tend to stay the same color through a trend. All right, so we, we uh, started moving lower here at about 28.31, right now we're at 28.23. And I've already uh, tried to teach you a low risk entry technique for getting into your trades. Here was a low risk entry point here. I'll put an arrow there for you. Okay, low risk entry point here, low risk entry point here. All right, so you can see even within a trend, you've got places that you can get into your trade with low risk. All right, so right now the market's moving lower. See the signal we had on the E-mini was at 28.26, right now we're at 28.23.50. All right, so I do these sessions every day or just about every day. So we can show people these charts under real-time market conditions. Uh, what we offer here at Navitrader is a set of tools and training on how to use these tools. Our objective is to help you. We want to show you what to do. Uh, we do demonstrate in the room that I run every day from 9 to 11 uh, some, some trade examples. But it's really all about you. And you know, I, I do a lot of thinking about what makes for successful traders and what doesn't. And probably the biggest component is successful people don't give up. Successful people are going to persist until they're successful. All right, so that's going to be your most important component in your success is don't give up. If you've had uh, some experiences with trading, whether they're good or bad, uh, you're way ahead of people who've not tried trading at all. All right, so if you've tried trading, uh, you probably found out it's probably not as simple as it looks, but uh, as I said, our job here at Navitrader is to try to take the complex and make it as simple as possible. Uh, I can give you some very simple rules to follow. With these volume charts, you want to be trading in the direction of the signal line on the volume chart. And if you wait for these little pullbacks that occur in the market, uh, you'll see the market will pull back near that signal line, and that will give you a very low risk entry point because if you're short right here, you can see you can have your stops right above that line. Okay, so that's what you're waiting for. All right, so lots of opportunity. As I said, even in these uh, micro contracts, there's still good opportunity. You'll have uh, less leverage. You will tend to be less nervous about going into a position. You're probably going to tend to stick with the position and let your winners run better than you would with uh, the regular contracts. All right, so good turnout in the room here today. We have 1,142 people registered today. All right, so everybody should be able to tell me uh, on this volume chart what color my signal line is. Signal line is the line above the price bars. On the Renko chart on the E-mini, signal line is red there. All right, so I'm going to give you an ultra-simple rule you can follow, and that is wait for the signal line on the Renko chart and the volume chart to agree with each other. Uh, low risk entry point is when you retrace up near that red signal line on the volume chart. See the last time we did that we were up here at 28.29 and a quarter. Right now we're at 28.22.75. So we've moved down about seven points from the last time we retraced up near that signal line.
All right, so currently market moving lower, not at a real fast pace. All right, so here's an example of a sell signal on the on crude oil. This happened a few days ago. Here's a sell signal on the E-mini. Here's a sell signal on the E-mini. Here's our uh, alerts window. If you're trying to follow a lot of different markets, you can see the actual signals that you see on the screen actually come up in the alerts window. You'll also get audible alerts. Here's a chart on crude oil. Okay, this is crude running our fully automated system. Our fully automated system runs off the uh, same charts and indicators that we're showing you here. Uh, the fully automated system doesn't really even need to see the signals. It knows where they're at. So here's a crude oil chart. Uh, this is a time-lapse video, so this is not a current chart, but we do this just to show you how the charts function and how the trailing stops work. All right, so currently crude oil moving lower. Target at 53.63. Okay, so you can see the bars are still red. Um, if the bars turn back to a gold frame bar, that means the bar the market is consolidating. All right, so this is the uh, crude oil chart using our trend indicator charts running the automated system. If you're trading off these charts, you can attach stops to these this indicator line. Okay, so market right now consolidating. In just a second, we'll come back to the live charts. Okay, so currently coming down. All right, so you can see the E-mini still moving lower. This is the live charts now. See the last signal we had here, 2826. All right, so live markets uh, trading lower right now. Right now, E-mini at 2822.75. All right, so I see some people that want to see some five-minute charts. Uh, upper right, there's a five-minute chart of the E-mini. Uh, you can see you can use the same, uh, same ideas that we talked about on the volume chart. You can see I moved down here, retraced up near that signal line. That's where we can go short there for a low-risk entry point. Okay, so I'll point that out right here. Low risk entry point, low risk entry point here. That's a five minute chart of the E-mini. And I see, uh, you wanna see the crude oil chart. Okay, crude oil. Five minute chart of crude right now, the bars are red. Okay, so right now you know based on the five minute chart which way crude is moving. All right, so crude moving lower. All 
right, so there's our charts. The cell signals are magenta arrows, the green arrows are buys. Here's the automated signals. Cell signal, retracement near the signal line. Here's some buy signals. Here's a NASDAQ where we had a cell signal. All right, so as I said before, too, for those people that don't want to trade the uh, NASDAQ, uh, the regular NASDAQ, just use the, the MNQ, MNQ. All right, so if you're too nervous to trade these charts, uh, trade the, the MNQ. You can see on this trade, uh, instead of making about $700 so far, you'd be making about $80 at this point. Still not a bad trade. Okay, so here we're, instead of making a thousand, you'd be up about a hundred on this trade. Still, again, not a bad trade. Came out with about an $800 uh, exit there. Again, on the NQ, uh, the MNQ, that'd be about an $80 trade. Still not a bad trade. All right, so here's uh, here's some other things you can do. You, you've got the volume chart and the Renko charts together. This is E-mini volume chart on top, Renko chart on the bottom. You can see they're both giving you the same signal. Here's the uh, Renko chart on the bottom of the E-mini volume chart on top. You can see you can buy these pullbacks. Volume chart on top, Renko chart on the bottom, both, both red bars, red signal line. Here's the uh, volume chart on top, wrinkle chart on bottom. Here's where we're getting the same signal on the NASDAQ and the E-mini at the same time. Uh, E-mini volume chart on top, wrinkle chart on the bottom. Uh, here's a chart. We had a sell signal. We retraced up near the signal line. Okay, so there's the retracement, and we moved down about six points after that move. All right, so some things that uh, you'll need to do to trade successfully. One is you need to have a system. Uh, once you have a system, I recommend that you test it in simulation mode. Number three, you need to actually use the system. Sounds pretty logical, huh? Okay, so have a system, test the system, actually use the system. Here's some buy signals. Here's concurrent buy signals, concurrent sell signals. Here's our audible, audible and visual alerts. Here's our trade finder. You see when everything's red, it's indicating a move down. If everything's green, indicates a move up. A little bit about the micro futures. Personally, I think this is a very important uh, development. And the symbols are on the screen for the E-mini. Uh, these are all the micro contracts. So for the E-mini, it's the MES, NASDAQ, MNQ, Dow, MYM, Russell, M2K. Uh, the movement per point on the E-mini is $5. You can see it's one-tenth of the corresponding uh, contract. So the E-mini movement per point is $50, on the MES it's $5, and so on. Some of the th reasons you may want to consider the micro futures, lower funding requirements. Check with your broker on that uh, regarding your margin requirements per contract, but uh, generally you should find it to be a lot lower. Uh, your commissions are going to be approximately one-fifth of the corresponding contract. So the E-mini is, let's say, $4. And I'm only using that as an example. You need to check with your broker for exact commissions. So if the E-mini were $4, one-fifth, that would be $0.80. Uh, the micros, you have one-tenth the leverage. Much easier to scale in and out of positions. Start with one contract, for example, that trade's working for you. You can add to it. 
uh, move in the direction of your target, and then start scaling out of your position. All right, so here's the live charts. Remember that sell signal, 28.26, right now we're at 28.22, so that's about a four-point move, four-and-a-half point. All right, so if you remember too, and when I asked everybody which direction you should be trading in, you can see that was a that was a good call. It's just what the charts are telling us right now. Low risk entry points, and when we retrace up near that signal line, so here and here are two different uh, low risk entry points. Uh, I can tell you it's not going to get too much simpler than that. If you're looking for something like that, then I applaud that, but. Uh, I don't think you'll find anything simpler than what I'm showing you here. All right, so I want to thank everyone for joining us. Uh, let me just mention too, here at Navitrader, we are dedicated to your success. We offer unlimited support to all of our customers. Uh, we've been here since 2002, and I've been running our live trading room or I should say training room, because the intent of the room is to train you on what to do. Um, my goal is not to show you, uh, not to make you dependent, well, let's put it that way. I don't want to make you dependent on someone else calling out trades for you. Uh, your goal should really be to be independently successful in your trading. And that's, that's really our goal here at Navitrader for you. All right, so... You can see right now we're, we're giving you free training. <laughs> so we want you to be successful. And right now the charts are moving lower. Now if the charts turn back to green, that means we're moving back up again. In any case, like I said, we've been here since 2002, and I've got people that are have been customers the entire length of time that we've had our live trading room. We've got people all over the world running these charts every day for various markets. Uh, the most successful traders are people who get these tools and take the time to learn how to use them. We do offer four months in our room, and they're willing to put in the uh, time and effort to make this successful for, for yourself. Again, I'm not trying to make anyone dependent on what we're doing here at Navitrader. Uh, what you want to do is that be independently successful in your trading. You don't want to have to rely on somebody else to call out trades for you. All right, so I want to thank everyone for joining us. Uh, if you do have friends who you think could benefit from these tools, please tell them about us. Okay, last sell signal on the E-mini here, 2826. Right now we're at 2820.50. 28, 20.25, 20 I'm sure, we'll, or I shouldn't say sure, but we'll probably hit 28.20 here in a minute or so. So that would be a six-point move down from where we had the last sell signal. Again, I want to thank everyone for joining us. Everyone have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next time.